originally inspired to take this trip because so many people have told me that I have a really amazing and inspiring story. I had done some things locally with speaking to girls and telling them about what I had done and my story had always been really well received. I realized I had this huge opportunity and something great to tell people so I decided I wanted to share it with people all across the country. Daytime shows, but you should really put her yeah. on your show. And uh, we'd love for you to dance to some Please. of this stuff. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Play yeah. some music out then. Yeah, I don't think for Alex Show. Put her on Alex Show. Put her on Alex Show. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Best musical team ever, Ellen. Jaja's getting a 
pampered. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Tell us how it feels, Jaja. It actually feels great. You know, it's real like chic and elite feeling. You know, everything about me is wardrobe, fashion, so it's kind of like having this in your closet like this. Awesome. Yeah, come try it out. Awesome. And a strawberry. Yeah. I can smell it from here. Mm -hmm. It does smell good. Yeah, it smells great. There's our box over there, packed up nicely by these guys. Yeah, and we want to give a big thank you to UPS for helping Thanks us with all of our logistics. So thank you so much. I don't know if you can see that. I'm zooming in on this water tower. We're at Round, we're coming to Round Rock where our good buddy Grant Turn left. has recommended you have reached your the most awesome left. donut place ever. Round Rock Donuts. And there That's it right is! Because as you know, anybody that knows us knows we'll go anywhere for donuts. It's way better than walking seven miles. <laughs> Here we are. Lone Star Bakery, Round Rock Donuts. Hey, hey Helen. Helen! This is Round Rock Donuts. This is the Big Texas, Texas Donuts. Donuts. You need to come get one of these and put Lanny on your show. Woo! Woo! The 
think my favorite memory from the trip was speaking to the girls at Western High School in Baltimore. Uh, they responded really well to what I had to say to them and they were the group who was closest to my own age. So it was really awesome for me to get their feedback and to see that they appreciated what I had to say to them and to have the opportunity to, to reach them. Take the freeway. Take the Here's exit right. Oklahoma City. It's kind of smallish. It's hiding behind the trees. This is so bumpy. But we're here. And the sky is blue. And there's a river or something. Oklahoma City and we thought we were going to come to the sports bar and watch the Steeler game and get a really exciting shout out from some other fans but as you can see there's we're the people. only fans here. There's Matia. Shout out Matia. <laughs> hey Alan, grabbing my Mike Wallace jersey in Oklahoma City. We want you to put Lainey on your show. <laughs> Look at all these people Ellen, in this lively Oklahoma City night spot. <laughs> Hey Ellen, it's Lainey. We are in Old Town in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we just found some awesome break dancing going on here, so we think you'll love it. It's pretty awesome. Getting in innocently enough, and it busted. So, anyway. and now we don't know what to do because we still have <laughs> 6,000 miles to drive in this car. You know, she just broke it outside of the restaurant, and they're gonna get us some duct tape. So, we're gonna try to duct tape the car back together, but it's already still falling coming. apart, and we haven't even made it to you. But we're still gonna get there. We're still coming. The door falling off is not gonna stop us. <laughs> Our busted up car. part of the whole trip was definitely without a doubt the planning. It took me months to come up with the schedule and the events and put together everything that we were going to do while we were on the road. So it was a really big project but it all paid off in the end. Um, and it was really stressful but it was all okay once we got on the road. Vegas. Happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. Hi, I'm Rocco, and I'm a culture magician at Zappos. I love it, culture musician, and this is Andy, our tour guide. I am the culture show girl here at Zappos. Is that seriously what you're called? It is, it is for real time. I want to be the culture show girl at oh, Simple yeah. Sugars. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yeah, that's her ensemble in there. Let me see it. Can I film it? That is sweet. These guys are going to rock the Simple Sugars t-shirts, Ellen, and um, 
Yeah. 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 Now, and look, we got a bag that we're gonna there to fill us up with drinks, yep. we so we can stay hydrated. Oh, look okay. at that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Mary That's like perfect. Do it. I think if it was possible, you just got better looking. I, oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right <laughs> there. Right there. Uh. Welcome to Zappos! It would wow us, Ellen, if you put Lainey on the show. <laughs> We're gonna stalk the Ellen people. Until they let us in. Until they let us in. Yep. When I found out there was no room to be on the Ellen DeGeneres show, it was definitely disappointing um, because that was one of our goals for the trip, but it was also to be expected. Uh, they have a pretty tight schedule at the show, so we knew that it was really a long shot to drive out there and to expect them to just put us on their show, but we were only spending three days in LA. So it was basically to be expected, even though it was still disappointing, and we are still in contact with The Ellen Show, and we're continuing to send them stuff now. So it was successful, because the ultimate goal was to just get a contact there and to make The Ellen Show aware of what I'm doing. So that part was definitely a success. and it is 1.07 a.m. and guess what we're doing? <laughs> we are making okay. buffalo chicken dip! Buffalo chicken dip in our little kitchen now. There's the cream cheese and Six. chicken. Joint has a measure. And all of you people who we've met on this trip who don't know what buffalo chicken dip is, now uh -oh. you will know. Sorry. Now we're adding some ranch dressing. Just uh, half a cup. To the Half cup of ranch recipe. dressing. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> Can't we're now we couldn't find the right hot sauce stuff. So we're going to attempt to use this, which is like Trader Joe's brand chili pepper sauce. 
shredded cheddar. Use that this time. I'm going to have, have some shredded cheddar. Which I'm just going to. How much is in here? Melting it in the microwave. The microwave's brand new. It's a very nice microwave. The joint's brand new. It is now 1.09 in the morning. Alright, wait. I don't know how to do this. Hmm. Clear. Whatever that means. Three minutes. We finished the buffalo chicken dip. That's not bad. Wow. That's what it looks like. What you do, demonstrate, Mom. You do, so you take something like these delicious sourdough breadsticks that we bought, you put some on, and then you eat it. It's delicious. All you people who've never had it should make it. gorgeous we're, spa and we're excited to have them tonight it's a beautiful night in Colorado it's October 13th and about 80 degrees with beautiful full moons ready for some fun it's gonna let's, be awesome. let's introduce the girls okay girls say your names everybody hi I'm Marina I'm Piper Sarah and Kayla and that's Jerry's staff and this is her gorgeous spa let's just walk in fast and she's got this beautiful historical building that's all restored and it's a wonderful spot to come for relaxation when you're in Littleton. Hi, Alan. Say hi to Alan and tell Alan that you really would like to see Lainey on her show. Put Lainey on your show <laughs> and come to Littleton. <laughs> awesome. be either Austin, Texas, even though it's a little bit too hot for me there, or um, Denver, Colorado, or Washington, D.C. Okay, this is perhaps our biggest challenging pack yet. Yeah. This is all the stuff. <laughs> There's another bo big box, like that white one, of t-shirts to go in. And the trunk's already almost full. Can we do it? And it's all in. We did it. Trunk is shut. Monster thing on top is as monstrous as ever. But we can't see out the back. And we still have to figure out what to do with all these codes. But basically, we did it. The car is sitting off the load of the ground. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're off to Madison. Woohoo!
Chicago. Look at this day. Gorgeous day in Chicago. And there's Lainey in there. And we have just packed up the Simple Sugar Super Smooth Mobile for the last time on the smoothest road trip ever. Lainey, do you want to do a cartwheel or something? <laughs> last pack up. So exciting, but not because we have to go home, but. Lainey's not ready for the smoothest road trip to end. Nope. So, everybody's in there. Even Larry. He's in there somewhere. And we actually have more room than we we uh, thought we would. So, everything's in there. Yeah, I'm going to zip it. And, uh, strap it on. We're going to head for Pittsburgh. Overall, that if you have a crazy idea, even if it seems completely insane, if it's something you're really passionate about, you should definitely go 